Call it smokezilla. When it comes to barbecue, John Cadell says the key is simple. Low and slow is the way to go. He's one of the top barbecue pit masters in the country. But they say, oh my God, that's the best brisket I've ever had. I said, dude, that's bear meat. But years ago, Cadell was playing with fire in a much more serious way. Several years ago, I had a bad problem with alcohol, and it I lost everything because of it. And I decided right then and there I was going to change my life, and I knew I had a passion for cooking and barbecue, so I took it to the next level. Cadell credits barbecuing with saving his life and giving him a new career. Our business was founded on helping others. We do a whole lot of benefits for people in need in our county, especially our schools. We do a whole lot for our schools here. John Boy's barbecue is a real family affair, from his parents to his siblings and even his kids. I mean, I couldn't do it at all. I mean, my mom, dad, my sister, my kids, I mean, everybody just, they chip in where I fall short. Uh, we started out just cooking underneath the tent, and then we gradually uh, got our little barbecue shack, you know, and we cooked underneath it for a while before we had sides on it, and it grew, and the business just keeps growing and growing, and then we got a food truck, and we're nationally known for our barbecue now. That's fire. For his efforts, John Boy has even found himself trying to smoke the competition on Netflix's Barbecue Showdown. It's one of the, my say, sayings on the show is, I've killed it and I've grilled it. My favorite part was really getting to know all the different people from all the different places. I mean, everyone had their own personalities, their own styles, and it was really cool to cook with everyone. You learn a whole lot. And he isn't stopping there. He's also been in music videos, commercials, and is even filming a movie. There's also a line of barbecue sauces, even a beard care line. It's humbling. It really has. A, I never would have figured that, you know, I could have done this. And it, it has changed. It changed it for the good, but sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. And while the secret's in the sauce, there is no secret to what keeps him in the pits. What really helps me more than anything is see people smile from eating, you know, and loving the food that we prepare. But yes, it does take a whole lot of time, and you gotta get your mind right, because every three hours I'm up uh, stoking the fire and putting stuff on, taking stuff off, wrapping things up. I mean, you're constantly busy, you're married to this.